Hey Gemini, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. We're going to go ahead and jump right on into this here for you, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini here? Okay. Um... I have personals open for those of you who are interested. Uh, you could also check me out on uh, Patreon as well as social media. All the links are down below if you're interested, okay? Um, your overall energy is the hermit, all right? I feel like you are... I don't feel like you're physically leaving a situation, but I feel like you are checking out, okay? It feels like you're checking out. I'm seeing a lot of blue here. It just seems as if you are just kind of in a different headspace than where you are physically is the energy that I feel. You could have some Virgo in your chart. Um, you could kind of be with treating, like with, with treating. Yeah, you could kind of be withdrawing, like, um, you know, kind of going within with the Hermit being your overall energy. Like you don't, maybe you don't feel safe in your environment here. Um, whether that's emotionally, physically, it's not really clear. Um, yeah, there, there aren't really any cards that, that would indicate, you know, that there's any kind of physical danger, but I think that you don't want to take on what is, um, what's being said to you. I don't know. This feels like a very unusual reading. I feel like you don't want to take on the things that are being said or the things that are being talked about here. We got Libra energy with the Queen of Swords. What is that about? Queen of Swords reversed. Two of Cups. This could be somebody you're connected to, um, connecting with. Somebody could have Venus in Cancer, Queen of Swords upright. I think you're expressing a truth here. You don't like what's being given um, back to you here. Okay, you're expressing a truth. You don't like the way that somebody's receiving it. Strength card. You feel like you're going to have to hold back your truth around this person is basically the energy that I feel here. Um, so yeah, I would just, this could be a Leo or a Libra. But I think you're in a situation where you feel like you have to hold back your thoughts, your truth, like you have to hold back what it is that you want to say. With the strength card here, like it just feels very forced, very like walk on eggshells kind of energy. Like you, you, you say what's on your mind here, and then it's just Queen of Swords reverse. Like it's not taken well at all. Like there could be um, an argument that breaks out here. There could be, um, you know, some judgment. Right with the Two of Cups, though, you're exchanging. You're exchanging your truths here. You're exchanging words. And you feel like you have to hold back if you want peace around this individual. Okay? you got the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius. What's going on with this? Nine of Wands reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Upright. Eight of Wands. And I think that this is something that's been bottled up for a long time. So it's a big deal for you to be able to express this here to this person um, or to this group of people. I think you could be moving away from a group of people here. Or it's like you don't want to associate or communicate with these people anymore. It's like you could be feeling judged or you could just be feeling um, pressure. I don't know why you're feeling pressure, but you are. Um, somebody here is. What else is happening with this? Eight of Wands, there are a lot of messages, or you could work on social media, like you could have a large following on social media, like you could be feeling a lot of pressure here. This could be any social media, by the way, like Instagram, TikTok, whatever this is here, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely done something for financial gain here, like something has come out, something has come out. Like there could be rumors, gossip with that Three of uh, Cups. Yeah, you're finding out who your friends are here. There are people who are either not giving, the information that you need them to give or they are giving false information okay for financial gain or so they don't lose something financially but either way it's like somebody here has piss poor morals okay so that's one thing i'm seeing here as well like you feel like you can't speak up you can't speak your truth because of this king of wands that could be a leo it doesn't have to be two of wands yeah you feel like somebody is winning or somebody is in the driver's seat here basically we're going to move on from that story because I, I do feel like you're with, you're withdrawing. Why do I keep saying with treating? Goodness gracious, retreating. You could be taking a break here. Um, you know, I feel like you are turning your back. I do. I think you're turning your back for a bit, working on some things here. So um, I think that situation is going to be fine. But you do have the Eight of Cups here. So let's see what this is about. I get travel for you guys, making travel plans here, the star, a new destination, okay, or you have something new that you're wanting to do here, okay, or things could turn around for you, you know, with the star showing up, especially those of you who are in the public eye, Knight of Cups, um, you're getting people who care, people who see you here, okay, um, 
yeah, you're, you're learning who, who truly supports you. Even if you're not in the public eye here, even if it's not some big thing like that, you've been in a situation where people are not accepting of your truth or they're just very pushy with their own, right? Um, or they bend the truth. Uh, so yeah, I think that you are learning to put those energies behind you. And as you do that, like you're welcoming in really supportive energies. Um, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, absolutely. Yeah, you're welcoming in people who, you know, are not afraid of your truth. They're not afraid of your passion or your confidence. Um, they'll let you speak. You know, they're not going to have any kind of, you know, it's not going to be received in any kind of um, way to where they feel like they have to judge or ridicule or criticize or be disrespectful. Like it's, it's none of that energy here. Like you are seeing who truly supports you who is truly in your corner here um, and I think that you're welcoming in new energies you have the death card right here Scorpio card what's going on with the death card temperance page of cups moving where there's peace some of you could be moving somewhere sunny um, or you're going somewhere warm like you are you're trying to retreat here is basically the energy that I feel like you're going through a tough time you're going through a big change here trying to recover from something could have um, quit a really bad habit here what else is going on with this ten of cups wow going where your happiness is you know even if that's not like even if it doesn't involve traveling like you are moving towards people who allow you to be open people who are open with you um, and, you know, with the temperance card being here, I feel like it does take great strength for a while for you to, you know, move away from those energies that were not serving you, okay, because you really wanted to see the best in those people uh, in those situations. But, you know, I think that ultimately you're going to realize that you made the correct decision here and moving away from those energies and moving towards people who are more open with you. The chariot, I see a lot of cards of movement here. I think you guys are planning a move or you're planning to travel, okay? I feel like this could be where you meet new people. You have the Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn. I think you have a new passion with that Page of Wands that you're wanting to invest in as well, okay? You have a skill you're about to let out here or you're about to strengthen. That could be why you're isolating here. It's like you know that you have something. Um, you know, and in this Four of Pentacles, these cards are not as bright in this deck. Um, but if you look at like the Rider Waite deck where the Four of Pentacles is, or Four of Pentacles, um, he, he wears a red robe, which is a symbol of power, okay? And then he's got that black one draped over it which is a symbol of like mystery hidden things right so it, it's almost like you've been hiding your power or holding something back from people you have the emperor right here but i think it's time you know I, I think that you're realizing that it's time to step into that power in full like he's got the red robe on here as well okay um wow all right we're not doing all those because i don't have that many cards left <laughs> what else are we getting here the hair font, the moon, the seven of swords. You're exposing something here for sure. It could be an Aries or a Taurus, okay? You're exposing something, but I also feel like you have something else up your sleeve here with the um, hair font. This has got to be for somebody super specific. Uh, you're welcome for the personal. <laughs> um, but the seven of swords, it's like that, that represents like trickery, theft, deception. Whatever somebody has stolen from you, whatever you feel like somebody has lied about, it's going to come out. It's going to be exposed with the moon card being present here, okay? That can say that, you know, there are things that you don't know. But with the ember being here, you're going to be in the driver's seat. Basically, what's meant to be exposed is going to come out, okay? The hangman. Three of swords. Yeah, there's been some pain you've had to deal with because it's like, like behind the scenes here. But that again, the Ace of Swords, like that is a card of truth. The truth is going to be exposed. So, um, you know, I hope you're on the right side of that. I really do. You have the Eight of Wands because energies can be flip flops. So this could be some. This could be you, do, Jim, and I doing this to somebody else. You know, it doesn't have to be, of course. But um, yeah, I hope you're on the right side of that truth here. Five of Cups because there's like a disappointing message going out here. Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups. I hope y'all will watch out for your other signs because this is just really specific. It involves money, finances, somebody doing something for money here. Uh, competition. You've been in competition. Things have been unstable. They've been really up and down here for a person. So this is going to create um, some kind of momentum for them, basically, is the energy that I feel. Um, yeah, it's all for stability with the King of Pentacles here. You have the Five of Cups, like... Uh, Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, like like the truth comes out here. Somebody sees something, and and that is exposed. You have the Eight of Wands, that is fast movement, fast communication. Like things start pouring out here. Proof. It looks like there's like physical proof of something here. So Jim and I, I don't know what this is about. Um, and this could be like a personal matter as well. This could be something personal in your life, maybe with a coworker, maybe with um, you know a spouse. Maybe you have somebody 
you know, in the mix trying to ruin something between you and a spouse, but you're like, hey, I have receipts here. So, you know, it, it could be something like that, right? Um, but yeah, oddly specific, super unusual reading. So if you guys want to watch out for your other signs, I definitely recommend it, okay? Um, you could also check me out on Patreon and social media. That information is down below. But Gemini, if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far, and you enjoy your month. Bye.